Welcome to a new series I want to try and kickstart for a few weeks, just see how it goes. I call it Smash Suggestion Box, where we will go over characters who we think could be good, fun, or interesting additions to the Smash Bros. game for Wii U and 3DS. We'll suggest characters and give them some information about them, then we'll discuss some potential movesets, and then at least give a few ideas to their playstyle. After all that, we'll have a third portion of the episode devoted to simply stating why we believe they deserve a spot in Super Smash Bros. Why them instead of some other character? Why not Zoidberg? As we do this, please submit your own suggestions for characters to our uh, email address evacstation at gmail.com. Many details as you'd like. We may decide to do an episode on your suggestion. Before we begin, though, I want to institute a few guidelines so suggestions don't get a little mm, ridiculous. First, they must have been in a video game prior to any other form of media. So we're not going to accept Terminators, Goku, Ruby Rose, CM Punk. They have to be a video game character before anything else. On top of that, they must also have existed in a game on a Nintendo platform at some point in their history. Meaning we probably won't get to an episode about Master Chief or Dante from Devil May Cry or even Gordon Freeman. That rule might change and the other rule might change some point down the road if the series lasts long enough and if you guys are really that interested. For right now, I just want to keep these guidelines on so we can kind of have an idea of what we're doing here. We'll start our series off with an obvious choice and one I think will have a lot of good discussion behind it. We're talking our big old friend from the sci-fi series we love most, Ridley from the Metroid franchise. For those unfamiliar, Metroid is a Nintendo series originating on the NES back in 1986, where you play as the protagonist, Samus Aran. She is one of the main fighters of Super Smash Bros, having been in the roster since the conception of the series, despite not having the game on the N64 during the release of the said game. The series has gone on to make popular titles, most notably Super Metroid, Metroid Prime, and Metroid Fusion. And while some titles in the series have earned it a black eye, like Metroid Other M, the series is still much beloved in the hearts of Nintendo fans. Maybe it helps that a new one is released every other year. Hint, hint, Assassin's Creed, Mario, Call of Duty. Ridley is one of the central antagonists of the series, having appeared in just about every Metroid game with the exceptions of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes and Metroid 2 Return of Samus, as of 2015. In terms of design, his char his name is based off Ridley Scott, the director of Alien, and even his original design from the Metroid game resembles that of a xenomorph also from Alien, to an astonishing degree. He's even gone through several form changes to help explain why Ridley keeps coming back from almost certain death. Clone, rebuilt as a cyborg, revived with the Phazon, and even reanimated with the X-Parasite. Ridley is one tough space dragon to kill, making him a staple to the series alongside Metroids themselves and losing all your power-ups at the start of the game and having to slowly regain them throughout your adventure. As for moveset ideas for Ridley, it seems fairly obvious that he'd be one of the larger characters. Even Sakurai has commented on Ridley's size, stating that the reason he isn't in Smash Bros. as a playable character is because making him small enough to be a fighter would make him lose that intimidating, imposing figure that he has. This makes him far less impressive and wouldn't be as fun to play. Thus, he's opted to have him more as a boss or stage hazard than a playable fighter. And while we respect Sakurai's opinion, Ridley has been playable in modded versions of the Smash Bros. Brawl to great success. In the Smash Bros. Brawl mod for Wii titled Project M, there's actually an option for Ridley giving him a fully customized moveset and having him play as a different character entirely. Said character and moveset is actually available outside of Project M and can be downloaded into other Brawl mods such as Brawl Minus, or Brawl Plus through the site Brawl Vault, where characters like Shadow the Hedgehog and Sephiroth are also available as well. You will just need a small SD card, an internet connection, and the patience to get multitudes of mods to work in conjunction with one another on your Smash Bros. Brawl game. As for what I'd like to see in an official Ridley moveset, I imagine it'd be similar in terms of movement to Charizard, where he's got multiple jumps and is a large but somewhat quick character. In fact, I can even see Ridley being a lighter character among the heavyweights to allow for more quickness, at least in the air. As for attack power again, I see a nice trade-off of power and more range, unlike the other heavies. The thing for Ridley would be that he'd specialize in knockback and sweet spots on his attacks that uses tail and claws. Aerials would arguably be his most powerful and fastest attacks, but he wouldn't be a slouch on the ground either. Arguably, I'd say the best way to do him would have him function very similar to Little Mac, whose fighting skills and speed are great on the ground but crap in the air. On the ground, Ridley would be sluggish, but he'd also be grounded, making him a little more powerful, just a lot harder to hit with. As for specials, I can see Fireballs as his main special fairly easily, something similar to Bowser's alternate fire breath move from the Wii U and 3DS game. An up special would be something like a quick spiral twist in the air, very similar to Charizard's older special recoveries, a sky attack. A good side special for him would be something that makes him both mobile and reusable to give Ridley more mobility in the air beyond jumping. But I'd like to see an attack of some kind too, otherwise all he's doing is just flying around like an idiot. An idea I had that'd be kind of fun would be a laser that when fired forces Ridley backwards as long as he's in the air. This charges over time like Rob, so may or maybe even like Samus herself, but the kickback can keep Ridley moving in the air and make him a little less predictable for opponents that are trying to chase him. As for a down special, I like the idea of really leaving some set of explosives. 
akin to the action he does in the Metroid Prime boss fight, where he flies over the stage, dropping bombs over you. On the ground, Ridley would simply just scatter explosives when it doesn't have a wide damage radius, but if trapped in the middle of explosions, the damage would stack up. In the air, you could probably even leave a trail of, of these behind for pursuing enemies. As for a final smash, there are a couple ways you could realistically go, but none of them are really ones I ultimately like. You can take the Warrior Man Mega Evolution approach, and have it so Ridley transforms into his meta or Phazon form, and just simply wrecks house a little bit more. You could also take the Ganon approach and have Ridley charge off stage, but I like the idea of having Ridley darting off stage not once, but twice, what's in each direction, and then dive bombing the center of the stage in a very similar manner to Alamar's final smash. This concept gives him a bit more of a hybrid feel, but I honestly don't mind hybrid characters that they bring a unique spin to some of the moves they're ultimately left to work with. This leaves us as to why Ridley deserves to be in Smash Bros. I think the answer is obvious. He's been in every Smash Bros. game to date, whether a background piece, intro sequence, or even in the boss fight or stage hazards or trophies. He's a character who's been on the cusp of entering the arena for years now, and is just waiting to sink his teeth into the competition. In a game so short on villains and heavy characters, adding another one would only be an improvement, not to mention giving Metroid another representative aside from Samus and Samus again. Personally, I just want to see Ridley done well in the game to prove that Ridley can be done well in the game. I'd love to see Sakurai proven wrong, respectfully so, and in such a way we can all still enjoy the game that we love. That's all for this episode of Match Suggestion Box. If you have a character you think deserves a spot on the roster, leave a comment or send us an email at evacstation at gmail.com. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back with more suggestions for Super Smash Bros. here in the...